teacher sends girl home without pants, realizes mistake when dad shows up. When a father in Florida picked up his daughter from the bus stop, he couldn't believe what he was seeing. What happened that day sent him straight back to the school that made his daughter do it. Sitting for hours on end at school is hard, even for older, more disciplined students. But for a six-year-old, it can be an enormous task. So when the little girl was forced to raise her hand before being acknowledged, things took a turn for the worst. The McCurdy family had recently moved to Florida and their little girl was attending a new school, which meant different rules for young McCurdy. No more on-demand bathroom breaks. From now on, she would have to wait for the teacher's permission. So she raised her hand to use the bathroom, as she was taught to do, but the teachers made her wait, ignoring her request despite her expressing that it was urgent. This led to an extremely unfortunate incident for the little girl. Not being able to hold it any longer, she wet herself in her seat. As mortifying as that is, a whole lot more happened to make her situation so much worse. She was sitting in class surrounded by her classmates, and we all know how mean kids can be. Finally responding to what was now clearly an emergency, the teacher sent the little girl off to the school office to clean herself up. She had no spare clothes with her, but the school didn't even call her parents to bring any in. What they did instead would have any parent seeing red. She was handed a part of school-issued panties after being cleaned up, and that was all she was given. Forced to put her soiled shirt back on to cover herself, the six-year-old wasn't even given a pair of pants to wear the rest of the day. Still, it didn't get better. Come to the end of the day and the school put her on the bus to go home, wearing just that shirt and a pair of random panties. Wearing soiled clothes and subjected to ridicule throughout the day, she began to sob. That's how her dad saw her when the bus arrived. Her dad, seeing the soiled stain on her shirt, immediately lifted her clothing to see what had happened and was livid to learn that she had no pants on at all. He wasted no time in driving straight to the school to find out why his daughter was sent home like this. We asked the assistant principal why my daughter was sent home in just panties and a t-shirt. And she begins to tell me, we thought she had a long enough shirt to be able to put her on the school bus and send her home. That answer was not good enough for Raymond. As a parent, the school expects you to send your child to school dressed in compliance with the school dress code. Yet what they had sent the student home in did not comply with their own school rules. Raymond set about measuring the t-shirt to see if it fit the school dress code, and it failed the exam miserably. That's four and a half inches right there, and it's still shorter than that. In Beltaire Elementary School's handbook policy, it states that shorts, skirts, skorts, and jumpers are acceptable if they are within four inches above the knee. They make me send her to school in clothes to their expectations. Why couldn't you send my kids home in clothes to your expectations? He demanded. Mom, Jennifer, brought up a good point too. Why didn't the school call either of the parents rather than leave the girl to be embarrassed the entire day? There are four contacts on our daughter's emergency card. Pick up the phone and call us. We will come to fetch our child. According to both Jennifer and Raymond, the school was well aware that their daughter had a medical condition that she needs to use the bathroom frequently. Now, the parents have since sought counsel to remedy the situation so that this type of thing never happens to their nor anyone else's child.